Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the Bungie Signs plugin so that you can create signs on your Bungie Core network that teleport you to your other servers, like so. So, let's get straight into it. So, the first thing that you need to do is ensure that you're running a Bungie Core network already and have one set up. If you don't know how to do that, go to our channel and search for how to set up a Bungie Core network as we have a great tutorial on this already. So once you've done that, we can go ahead and install the plugin. So if you go to the Spigot page for this plugin, there'll be a link to this down in the description below along with um, this tutorial. And then click the download now button and then save the .jar file to your downloads folder. And then you'll need to go to one of your Spigot servers. So you'll need to install this on all the servers that you want to um, have bungee cord signs basically. So I've already installed it on my lobby server and I'm going to be installing it on my faction server too. So if you go to the file manager, go to the plugins tab and then click upload file, choose files and then select the bungee server signs.jar that we downloaded and click upload from computer. Then once that's uploaded, restart the server. Once you've given your server a couple of moments to start up, click this refresh button and you should see a folder called Bungie Server Signs appear. So in here you'll see a file called bungieconfig.yml and in here you'll need to enter all the details from the config.yml file from your Bungie Cord server. So if you go to your Bungie Cord server in the control panel like I have here, then go to the file manager and then open the config.yml file and then you need to copy all of this from this file into the other one. So if you just highlight it all, right click and click copy, then go back to that Minecraft server that we were just on, make sure you have the bungee config.yml file open and then paste it in here. And then once you've done that, click save and restart your server once more. Then once you've restarted your server, we can go ahead and join it. So if I just go ahead and join my Minecraft server here, so I've now joined my server and I'm on my faction server where I want to create a sign to teleport to my lobby server. So to do this, just place a sign down, don't enter any text and click done. Then once you've done that, type the command slash create BS sign. And then it says, click on the sign you want to be a bungee cord sign. So right click that sign and then it should come up with these messages. And then now it says, type in the name of the server you want to connect to. So the other server I want this sign to connect to is called Lobby. So I'm going to type Lobby. And then it asks you to type in the lines of the sign. So this is going to be creating what is actually displayed on the sign now. So if I type um, and four to make it nice, a nice looking sign. And then it says line two. I want people to know it's the faction server they're joining. So I'm going to give a nice color code to this too. Um, and put Lobby server, sorry. As we're going to be joining the Lobby server with this sign. Line three, I'm going to be using some placeholders. So if I use the color code um, and red to match the top line and then type percent %C, which stands for current players, and then type percent, and I'm going to do forward slash percent um, M players, which stands for max players, percent. And then you'll understand how that works in a moment. And then we're going to be typing line four. And for this, I'm going to be using the um, MOTD of the server. So if you type and percent MOTD percent and as you can see it's created a sign so if you remember when I typed um, percent C players percent M players and um, that stands for current players and maximum players so zero means there's no players on the lobby server and 100 means that's the maximum people that can join that server and then obviously that's the MOTD so that's a nice looking sign so let's test if it works by right clicking it and we joined that server correctly and we can see we're now on the lobby server. So I'm now back on my faction server where we've created a teleportation sign and you can create as many of these signs you want and um, for any other servers that you may have. So say if you had a kit PVP server, you could create one for a kit PVP server too or any other server that you may have. Just follow the same steps um, and apply the different server names. Um, so once you've created a sign, if you wanted to remove it, you wouldn't just be able to start breaking it as it would teleport you to that server. So to remove it, you would need to type slash remove BS sign and then you'll be able to click on the sign to remove it and then that'll remove it from the database and then you'll be able to hit it and then remove it. You won't be able to remove it without running that command. 
So that's basically all you need to know about Bungie Signs. It's a fantastic plugin that allows you to easily teleport between servers. If you have any problems, feel free to contact our support. There'll be a link in the description down below to where you can contact them. And feel free to suggest any new tutorials you'd like to see in the comments section down below. So thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. Goodbye.